Good morning, students. How are you? I hope all of you are fine. Today, I will discuss about friction and exercise. Okay. Today, topic is friction and exercise. Okay. Friction. The force acting along two surfaces in contact friction. Or the motion of one body over the other is called the force of friction. It is very important in sports that leggage the area of contact between the surfaces. The greater is the force of friction when both the Surfaces are smooth, the force of friction reduces to almost zero. Okay? The force acting along two surfaces in contact pitch of or the motion of one body over the other is called the force of friction. It is very important in sports that lagging the area of contact between the surfaces the greater is the greater is the force of friction when both the surfaces are smooth the force of friction reduces to almost zero. Three types of friction are okay. One static friction, two limiting friction, three kinetic friction. Okay. One static friction, two limiting friction, three kinetic friction. Okay. Again, I'm repeating. One static friction, two Limiting friction, three kinetic friction. Okay, student. Static friction. Okay, static friction. Static friction comes into play when a body is forced to move along a surface, but movement does not stop. The magnitude of static friction remains equal to the applied external force and the direction is always opposite to the direction of motion. Okay? First, static friction. Okay? Static friction comes into play when a body is forced to move along a surface but movement does not start. Okay? But movement does not start. The magnitude of static friction remains equal to the applied external force and the direction is always opposite to the direction motion. Okay. Next, limiting friction. Limiting friction is the maximum of limiting friction is the maximum of thin force that comes into play when one body is just on the verge of moving over the surface of another body. Okay? Number two, limiting friction. Okay? Limiting friction is the maximum of thin, maximum of thin force that comes into play when one body is just on the part of moving over the surface of another body. Okay? Next, number three, 
Kinetic friction. Okay. Number three. Kinetic friction. Kinetic friction is the opposite force and comes in play when one body is actually moving over the surface of another body. Okay. Number three. Kinetic friction. Kinetic friction is the opposite force and comes. Okay. Opposite force and comes into play when one body is actually moving over the surface of another body. Okay, students. Students, I hope everyone understood this topic. I will come back again next day. Bye students.